The Brandon Peters Show may contain explicit language and detailed plot points. For more information on the show, stay tuned to the end of the episode. Here's Brandon. It's time to close the week out with a song. It's December, which means it's time for snow. And here to inform us all about it from B Movie Enema and Film Seizure, it's Jeff Arbuckle. Hey, how's it going? Hello, Jeff. I, uh, I am ready. I am ready for um, for this. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I, I, oh, wait, I believe I should be saying a licky boom, boom down. I don't even know what that you means. know what that translates to <laughs> is that Informer is the lead single from the 1993 al- debut album of Snow, which also featured Girl, I've Been Hurt. That song that's and, and Informer spent seven straight weeks on the Billboard Hot 100 and went platinum. Uh, the album peaked at number five on the Billboard 200. That album is called 12 inches of snow you know that that sounds like that's probably like either a really cold and dreary day or a super fun party i am refusing to believe that it means the other thing it's a well (laughs) there are 12 songs on the album okay well there you go uh that makes me feel a whole lot better about that title I didn't, you know what? I didn't even go there thinking about it. And I'm like, <laughs> why didn't I? Because I, <laughs> time for a confession, folks. Young Brandon owned this album. Oh my, no. Young Jeff did not own any snow, did not own any vanilla ice. Oh, I, I didn't have mm. vanilla ice. I had hammer and vanilla ice was the bad guy. Um, fair enough. I, <laughs> it's just fair. <laughs> I had, uh, I had 12 inches of snow. I don't know why I don't I I guess I liked it I I also had Inner Circles <laughs> album so maybe I had some sort of reggae thing that I didn't know about going on but yeah I um I hadn't thought about this song for probably twenty five years uh, until you until you dropped this on me yeah and then I was like oh yeah and then the song played in my head and I'm like. Oh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly why I picked it. I'm like, what's Jeff? We're going to do with Jeff here. Oh, yes, Informer. Uh, so, this one, funny enough, number 84 on VH1's greatest songs of the 90s, Pitchfork's seven worst number one singles of the 90s. Make up your minds, folks. <laughs> well, obviously, VH1 is um, selling to a different audience, I think, than, <laughs> than Pitchfork. I. I'm sitting here and I, I watched the video and then I was like, okay, I'm giving this one to Jeff. And then <laughs> I sat, <Thanks>. I sat <laughs> and I was like, the fuck was this guy? <laughs> like, it's like, it's like Michael Rappaport had a secret career. We didn't know about. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I was like, do I, I remember snow. I remember thinking it was kind of weird at the time, this guy, but then just like the song was, catchy or i don't know it, it, there is a catchiness to it yeah but i can't tell you anything that is said in the song uh-uh. like reading the lyrics doesn't it like, doesn't my help brain no my brain glitches out like cajun speak clearer no, english more. than this like you can go to wales and understand what they're saying much much before you can yeah. understand this so i'm like do this guy like I haven't kept up with snow. I don't know what's going on. He made like seven albums. Oh my God. <laughs> like uh, nothing clever as cleverly titled as this. There was one that was like, okay, you're close, but not there. I can't remember what it was. So I'm like, do I want to look him up and diffuse the mystery of snow? I did. Um, <laughs> he, so he ends up the, the genesis of snow is this kid in Canada 
and these Jama- this Jamaican family moves in at the end of the street and he starts getting influenced by them and becomes a pop superstar of reggae music. That's wild. I mean, okay, so the real question is, do you think that the world would accept a snow today in 2021? Uh, depends what he dressed like. <laughs> I mean, I, like, I, I mean, yeah, I, yeah. I mean, it's we'll listen to snow, but what other reggae artists were we listening to then? What, what were they putting on the radio? Of reggae well, artists? Yeah. And well, and maybe that's part of the problem, right? You know, yeah. it's like we're, we're stuck with the, with the Canadian white boy. <laughs> <you know? laughs> like it's the you whitest know? possible guy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, with 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 a with a whole video of dancers that probably wouldn't give him the time of day. I'm uh, it, positive. Yeah, <laughs> I so like, and the, the thing also with Snow, Snow the kid, with that's his genesis. Snow the man, like jackass or badass, because like he apparently, <laughs> when this song dropped, he was incarcerated for assault. Like he was in jail when this song dropped, because and. He had lots of assault charges on him at the time. He claims, I guess, he got in a lot well, of bar fights. That's what he Well, says. And, and my guess is, well, maybe it depends on what kind of bars he was going to. Um, but, I mean, he says it right here in the song. Detective man, uh, say, say, daddy, me snow, <laughs> me stab someone down the lane. He's he's telling us right there what he's doing that, that, that makes yeah. him, you know, a, a potential criminal. According according to my research, it said the song is based on a separate 1989 incident when Snow was charged with two counts of attempted murder. And I guess the song's message is, I ain't no snitch. <laughs> right. Like, is, yeah. that, is that the yeah, message? I think of- so. I think so. I mean, like. I mean, I uh, we need to we need to put this through the old uh, the the old Google Translate. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but I feel like that's what it's trying to say. Like he says that he's you know uh, well I don't know yeah gosh I don't know I I can't I can't make heads or tails of this whole uh, of this whole thing here. But yeah, I mean it's it's I think that's probably him saying. Um, you're looking for an informer, but it isn't going to be me. I'm a badass because I stabbed someone down the lane. <laughs> yeah. Down right down there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. This video dropped in March of 1993. For some reason, I feel like it it tells a story that relates to this from some. <laughs> it is uh, So like it's OK. So it's directed by George Seminara, which. He did computer graphics for Repo Man, and he starred in Splatter University. Uh, oh, wow. Yeah. One, one Last Thing and Beer League, and also starred and wrote I Was a Teenage Zombie. Like, I, wow. I've i seen all of those. I was like, what? Like, yeah, that's weird. I only saw One Last Thing because... Um, I when I did Blu-ray and uh, DVD quality control, we had Magnolia Films, and I saw that movie. Uh, it had a, a bunch of people they were trying to make a big deal about at the time, and nobody really took off from there. Um, but it was about some kid doing like with some cancer kids make a wish thing, and he wanted to meet a hmm. supermodel or something instead of this football player they were trying to push him to. So. Hmm. Uh, but the the thing with this director that brings him full circle is his inner circle, because he directed the video for music video for Bad Boys. Oh, uh, okay, that explains a lot. So yeah, he, he had an inside track on the the '90s reggae scene. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, gosh, this is one of those videos that would just kind of happen to you when you're mm-hmm. watching MTV yep. late at night in the early '90s. And it's like, it's just one of those, it's, it's so bad. It's so yeah. nothing. And it's like, it's just a white background with some, some, some fly girls essentially. And, and you've got a little bit of a set over in the corner that looks like a jail. Yep. Uh, and, and we're just going to make it happen. It doesn't matter. The song's going to bring them in and it just kind of happened to you. And, and this wasn't Michael Jackson. Let's put it that way. 
um it, it's it, it it's the type of stuff like it was these types of songs and then it was the stuff you saw on headbangers ball right it's like this is the best you can do for these for this low you're not metallica you're some other heavy metal band and you're gonna get a song you're not a video looks like that exactly you you're not, <laughs> yeah you're not nwa you're not you know um you, you, you're you're um uh, yeah it's like you're you're not vanilla ice even no um because vanilla ice could at least dance mm-hmm he was a hell of a dancer. You don't so, like Snow's moves in here? I, I, I mean, oh, yeah, okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Um, I Somebody mean, that, choreographed it, that. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, like, for all I know, I did. It's yeah. like, yeah, just do this for a little bit. Yeah. Um, no, I, yeah, it's just, it's one of those cheapo videos that this is the best this guy is going to get. And um, apparently he probably was on a tight, tight schedule to get it um made because he was probably going to the pokey yeah so you know it's like this is the best we could do snow Get, have at it yeah yeah it's uh <laughs> yeah like it, it's trying to be stylish this video and it and showcasing him in like hip clothes and i think oh. i think there's an attempt yeah. at, at trying to make like reading glasses look sexy or like badass <laughs> sure yeah like his, I'll, yeah i could buy that uh yeah and there's that there's the uh we mentioned the backers there's the go out by the go out in the stairwell uh sequence and then there's also the fabrics blowing in the wind yes, with the, the yes. silhouettes of the women behind them yes it's like like fabric blowing works for uh you know like mariah carey yeah or or for um you know janet jackson or tony braxton right it ain't working for snow. No. <laughs> and he's singing to somebody like over here. He's like to yeah. the side. You won't look at like, yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and all the girls. Uh, so like there's that the girls dancing. They like show them like straight up booty. They have oh, yeah, silhouette like the booty. Motion. Yeah. There's booty the, all over the place. The shower door distorted glass booty. Yeah. Like all there's, that. Yeah, there's the one shirt that he's got on because I'm letting it play now. Here, there's one shirt that looks like it's just a bunch of stuff off the wall from the set of uh, Price is Right. Oh, yeah, from, the, from yep. the late 70s. Yeah, um, yeah, it's got like that one flower and the like the spiral, and, and it's like I, it, I, I don't, I mean, I wasn't one of the cool kids. I was like in high school, I was kind of one of the middle of the road, liked by as many people as I can to stay out of trouble. Mm-hmm. I would have called this guy a dork if I saw him come into school looking like oh, this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no. <laughs> yep. And then he's like, hey, man, you know what the it's... music I got? Them snow. Where are you from? Canada. <laughs> yeah, right. Get out. <laughs> I'm from yeah. Saskatchewan. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's like, oh, that explains some things, I suppose. But but yeah, it's like, and then then there's the one shot of him. Like he's, it's like a close-up of him, of him singing to us. Mm-hmm. Thanks for that, Snow. I don't know what you're saying, but thanks. Yeah. Um, and then in the, behind him, barely visible, is the girl in like the velvet dress. Oh, yeah. And yeah. it's like he's total like it's it's way too pushed in on him. We can't see what she's dancing to or what she's doing, but but I guess it's snow time. Yeah. It's like oh well, we're in the middle of the action here, but there's only really one girl back there. Yeah, it's yeah. like we only had only one girl showed up today. It's like, yeah, I don't push in on him. Did you, yeah, there, there's also that one part where he's in his prison cell because that's some of it, and he's like looking at a Polaroid or something. Like I couldn't tell who was in it. I was like, all right, memories. yeah, it's like yeah, I get memories from that time that we went to Kings Island. Yeah, you like, know, and then we got a cheap Polaroid. <laughs> um. Oh. I, the end of the video also where apparently the black kid is coming in. Oh, MC so, Sean. Yeah. Yeah. He's coming in and, and he, and snow just kind of laughs and I'm like, well, I don't know what this is all yeah, about. Yeah. I was like, wait, <laughs> like, cause it was like, cause MC Sean, like we see him, he's in like the sauna with girls. Like he's yeah. actually with girls that look like they want to be with him. And, <laughs> and then like, he's on the phone and stuff and then he gets arrested and he comes to the cell. Cause he, he's also like, I'm hanging with the snowman and Sean won't turn in former. And then we see him come in the jail and snow's like, ha ha. Yeah. It's like, wait, no, like, I, I feel like that is implying that snow ratted him out. Set him up. Yeah. Like I got you. MC I got Sean. you. Yeah. It's like, yeah, now you gotta be in, with him in that cell. I would shiv you Mr. Snow. 
yeah for like, this like, no good man <laughs> no no it's they're they're one of two things are going to happen in that and neither of them are probably what snow would like to have happen yeah <laughs> yeah no it is it is wacky uh mc sean by the way is the guy who got snow signed to a record label like he was they were like a duo or something so well i i will say that snow does things um in that song that i couldn't ever do and i don't i don't want to say that snow is not talented at the at the bebop or the beat the beatboxing or whatever you want to call this this reggae um but it's a vision when you see him and you hear him that immediately throws you into like the twilight zone you don't know where you're at um and it's frustrating um, because at least the Beastie Boys, because that's one, that's my next recommendation. I may watch Intergalactic before I go to bed, but, uh, you know, that's, that's uh, like, they sound like what you would think they'd look like. Right. Yeah. It- there's a, there's a, there, that's great. You know, perfect. But, but snow comes on the screen and you're like, ah, it's a white guy. Yeah. So it's a white guy who looks like Michael Rappaport. I don't <laughs> like this at all. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's it, it is. It's like I said, I hadn't thought of this song in so long. But then the moment it's like, oh, yeah, Snow Informer is like, yeah, I can hear it again. And I'm like, oh, OK. But I didn't realize the whole song was reggae like that. Yeah. Like, I only thought like the chorus was, um, you know, I was too busy in 1993 listening to like Tom Petty and and the Rolling Stones being, being and, cool and stuff, being right? cool, you know, uh, listening to the rock and or roll. Um, so like, I, I didn't realize that, that, that the whole thing is, is just, I can, I could nonsense any of it. It's not for all I know. Yeah. He's just making shit up. <laughs> well, it's funny after one week on the air, the music video then was released. It had subtitles. Well, that doesn't help because people didn't know what the heck he was saying. Well, and, I mean, and as you can see, if you want to say informer, cool, <laughs> but you also want to play. Like, yeah, you know. it's like me never lay a down flat in a one cardboard box. I mean, I, 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 I've got nothing for that. I've got nothing for that. You know, whenever you go to karaoke, there's always the, the person, drunk person who decides to take the challenge of doing rems it's the end of the world or billy joel's we didn't start the fire yeah nobody has ever dared snow informer well and, and, no and and good for them for I, being at least that self-conscious to i'd realize. like to think the karaoke people are like <laughs> no that's just the one song it's not allowed <laughs> yeah we we, we didn't even write lyrics on the board <laughs> we don't even have it no no we don't have it if you want to just take the mic from us and just spout bullshit for three and a half minutes by all means like when oh, yeah. wayne's world where they point to the sign said no stairway in the guitar shop the karaoke yeah. bar should be like no snow and no informer yeah no informing <laughs> no informing well you know that might be that may actually be what the song is about oh yeah yeah that's you possible. know i mean it's very possible it's like i i did this song um oh my god he even says it one he even says at one point he was born and raised in a ghetto. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> um, but no. uh, the uh, yeah, it's like for all we know, it's like, hey, I was born in a ghetto. I wrote this song so that nobody could ever, uh, um, you know, cover it, which is a mistake because he would get mm-hmm. money for it. Right. Um, yeah, so, that's true. You know, but. <sighs> Do you remember? <laughs> Do you do you happen to remember in Living Color did a parody of this called No, I called need to find this. Imposter with Jim Carrey as Snow. Perfect. And uh Tommy Davidson as MC Sean. And and it goes through things like him being an auctioneer, him do, like all sorts of things that would be those are talking fast. <laughs> so it's that it's, is that's pretty perfect. It's good. If you know this, you it's it's funny. It's a uh, real good stuff well, yeah no I, i'll need to look that up i mean well and you know it's like i already i already mentioned that the dancers look like the fly girls from yeah in that's Living true, Color, yeah. so they had that already there too so it's a thing yeah, yeah. <laughs> 12 inches of snow 
He also had that song, Girl, I've Been Hurt, Now I Need Another Lover. That was his other single. Uh, I don't remember that one at all. It was his, I guess that was his slow jam. Well, I mean, that uh, that little piece right there is, I, I understand that already better. Well, it, what, all it, four one minutes word. of Informer. <laughs> but was, yeah, one word and I, I got four. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they... Um, Oh gosh. I mean, like some of these, like where the destination reaching out of East attention, where they lock down me pants, look up me bottom. Oh, he's getting the cavity check. He's getting processed. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Okay. Oh, well, I know <laughs> that part. <laughs> so I understand that part. Um, yeah. Cause the, 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 before that start of that stanza there or whatever is the police coming for them. Gotcha. Okay. He's be okay. Well, see, look, now we're learning some things. Oh, uh, oh, look. snow! You and your sleet. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. I I wonder if he is still um, uh, fresh as a as a December snow, um, and still still out there doing the doing the rounds. I don't know what he's doing. I uh, yeah. He his last album was like 2002. Believe it or not, you probably thought he was gone well before that, but uh, yeah, I thought his last snow. album was 1993. Yeah. <laughs> Snow still making albums. Then well, he hasn't well, had at least then, then, yeah. Well, or yeah. Maybe I'm, he's made them and he's just like, hey, uh, if you go to the table in the back after the. <laughs> yeah, I just freshly burned this concert. <laughs> you know, yeah. Um, no, I mean, again, I'm not going to. He does something that I can't do. Right. It's just that I can't understand him. And that all of that combined is just a little much it's a piece of time it's a piece <laughs> yeah. of time it uh, sure is it sure is captured in ice um for i i yeah well no, yeah uh well that's vanilla ice so we don't want to we yeah, don't want to cross we don't want to cross vanilla ice here. and snow look at that that would be a hell of a of a of a of a uh of a play bill <laughs> yeah vanilla ice. <laughs> vanilla ice and snow that was our Hip hop white guys from the early nineties. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. And and yeah, like uh, good for. I mean, like I hope Snow is not in jail. Let's put it that way. Yeah. It seems like he was troubled, and I sure hope he's he's gotten that sorted out. I will say that because that way I I don't want him to come here and beat me up. <laughs> right. Hey, if you want to come on the show, Snow, and talk about it, Jeff and I would love to to chat with you about every inch of Snow, the album. <laughs> the album yeah 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 i saw the album and i'm like the the first thing i did was just went <laughs> yeah. like 12, 12 inches of snow not likely <laughs> yeah oh man <laughs> yeah you're right good luck but yeah no it makes sense the album although 1993 they're not selling the vinyl no so it's not i mean yeah whatever <laughs> oh good yellow snow yeah. So, all right. Well, that'll wrap us up for this week on the show. Jeff, thank you for coming. Talking Blu-rays with me. Talking Snow, uh, an album I once had. Believe it or not, fun fact for my listeners that I <laughs> I had this. Yeah, I, I will at least say that this has been um, surreal. Let's yeah. put it that way. <laughs> there we go. There we go. All right. Before we head up in the weekend, Jeff, where can people keep up with you? Uh, yeah. So uh, just go over to Twitter. Follow uh, at uh, B movie anima. That is where I write a lot of um, uh, articles, a lot of words about movies that probably have never had that many words written about them. Um, and you can also follow the the podcast that I co-host, which is uh, just go to, at Film Seizure. Um, you can find out when all of the stuff that I am a part of gets released. And subscribe to B movie anima of the series on YouTube as well. Yes, yes, so, absolutely. So you get notified when the new episodes drop. All right. And I'm on Twitter and Instagram at brand 4 kuhd written work at YSOblue.com. Uh, have yourself a great little weekend. Some of us get extra days. And if you're shopping, if you're sitting around home, if you're putting up decorations for your next holiday, whatever you're doing, enjoy your weekend. Check out backlog episodes here, everywhere. Uh, check out B-Movie Enema, the series, Film Caesar, all that. Everybody who's been on the show's stuff, all in one weekend, do it. Uh, but I'll be back Monday with a actually a traditional week of the show. 
that hasn't happened since I September, I think. But uh, we got something good for you. Uh, uh, but until then, stay film positive. Thank you for listening. The Brandon Peters Show is a Creative Zombie Studios production. Produced by Brad Shoemaker and Brandon Peters. Written and edited by Brandon Peters. Announcer vocals by Jessica Olsman. Theme song by Metavari. Web design and show art by Brad Shoemaker with Brandon Peters. All music and clips featured in the episode are property of their respective studios and no infringement is intended. Additional information on this and other episodes at brandonpetersshow.com. For any inquiries, press opportunities, or sponsorship, contact mail at brandonpetersshow.com. The show is available on Apple Music, Spotify, or anywhere podcasts are found.